guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time since I posted my last video, but I really wanted to come back and wanted to show you what I'm up to and what I've got for you. So today's video is going to be my go-to makeup routine that I follow every time I have to go out somewhere, and it is really appropriate for winter. So I hope you enjoy this. And without further talking, let's just get started. So let's just start with prepping our skin and I'm using the MAC Strobe Cream and it's in the shade Gold Light. Little bit goes a long way. So take very little and just massage it into your skin really well. Next step is optional but I really like to do this. So I'm gonna take the MAC Mineralize Charge Water Spray. It's just like Fix Plus so it's gonna hydrate your skin. So, I like to just spray a couple of spritz before I go into with my makeup. It ensures that your makeup sits really well onto the skin and it looks really smooth and flawless and all those good stuff. So, next step is going to be putting on some foundation. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation, it has got amazing coverage. So, I'm going to use very little because I'm not really looking for something heavy. And to apply that, I'm going to be using the Real Technique Buffer Brush. So, take very little and just blend out everywhere. The best part about this is that you can build on the foundation coverage by applying one more layer if you really need some coverage in some particular area but I like to keep it very natural and very fresh so I'm not gonna do that Alright, so next up is concealer and I'm gonna be using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer and it's in the shade NW35 which is a bit darker for me but I like it this way. So I'm gonna take very little onto this brush which has no name on it. You can use any concealer brush and just apply it under the eyes. I don't like to excessively highlight my under eye area so I never go for a very light color and why I use a darker color is because it helps in concealing really well and then I take a little bit of my foundation and go over that area so it looks just one color. It pretty much covers up everything that you want because this concealer is also full coverage. There you go. So now I'm just going to take whatever was left of my hand with that same foundation brush and I'm just going to dab under my eyes and that's about it. Now I'm going to take my Selexia powder and I'm going to use the same brush. Make sure you just wipe it off on a tissue so it's not wet. And then I'm just going to apply my powder all over. If you don't like your skin to look extremely matte, you can just powder the center, like the forehead, a little bit on the nose, and around the mouth. And you can leave the rest of the face. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush, it's again from Real Technique, it's their blush brush. I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer, it's called Matte Bronze, it's from MAC again. And I'm just going to apply a little bit into the hollows of my cheeks. This colour is not too warm, so it gives you a very natural contoured effect. So I'm basically contouring all the usual parts like the cheekbone area and a bit of the jawline. Next step is to add some 
blush and I'm using a blush called Fleur Par. It's again from MAC. And it's pink in color which I really like for winter. So the key is just to smile and apply it onto the apple of the cheek and sweep it upwards. I'm just going over with my foundation brush because I feel like I've applied a little too much. Alright, so moving on to the eyes, I'm going to fill in my brows first. Let me do something really crazy. So I've got this eyebrow pencil which is called Brow Sculpt. And it's got a spoolie onto the other end. So I'm just going to brush up all my brow hair. And I'm just going to take the crown out. I'm going to start filling it from the opposite direction. This technique will basically add product more to the brow hair and makes it look more thicker and fuller. And the end result will be really really natural. Once you are done with that, take this coolie again and just smooth out any harsh edges or line that you can use. So I'm going to start with the kajal and it's a really thick kajal. It was from a collection called Makeup Art Cosmetic from MAC. And I'm just going to apply this kajal inside the waterline. Now I'm going to just fill in the upper rim of my eye as well with the same kajal. Now I'm going to be taking a flat brush and I'm going to use the tip of it and I'm going to smudge out the kajal to create a more smoky effect. Next, I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and I'm taking a shade which is like a brownish red color and while I'm looking straight, I'm just going to put this in my crease area. Then you gotta make sure that you blend as you go because you don't want to create any harsh edge with it. Since the red in the crease is really dramatic, I'm gonna keep the eyelid really subtle. And I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm gonna apply it onto my eyelid. You can even use your finger for this. I think I'm gonna do that. Is that we get a really nice intense color? And that's all I'm gonna do. Next, you're gonna wanna take a pencil brush and a matte dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm gonna set the under eye part with the same well I guess that's all for the eyes I'm just gonna take my mascara which is the bold bad lash from MAC and I'm just gonna apply this onto my lashes you're gonna go really close to your lashes and wiggle the wand up So you get a lot of volume and the best part about this mascara is the red wand which is the teeny tiniest wand ever which can be used for the lower lashes. So 
we are left with lips so i'm going to be using this pencil called rosy bear it's a very nice neutral color so i'm just going to line my lips using this I really like using uh, lip pencils because I can really alter the shape of my lip and since the lip pencil has a lot of pigment in it so it really holds on to the color and your lipstick lasts for a very long time if you do apply it with a lip liner and I'm just going to take the same pencil and randomly filling it in so the lipstick that I'm going to use today is this it's called Cosmo. It's one of my favorite color, and this is something I wear every single day to office as well. So I'm just gonna apply this. So that's it for the video, and I hope you like this. So if you did, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and also just hit that bell notification right over there. So you get notified every time I am on YouTube and that's about it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.